Hey everyone, it's Melody with Design by Melody. I'm here with my third project with my Studio Calico April kits. Um, what you just saw were the photos that I laid out, but I went ahead and sped it up. That way this video is not forever long. Um, but anyways, I'm starting with my June 2014 photos and I'm going to make a um, or the beginning project life page for the June portion of my album. Now, if you're a new subscriber or you haven't watched um, many of my old videos, I do monthly sort of project life pages. So I always have a project life page for the beginning of the month. I put whatever other inserts, whether they're 12 by 12, 11 and a half, um, sorry, 11 by eight and a half, uh, more project life pages, just anything like that in between. And then I always have an ending project life page. And I just personally always use the um, Becky Higgins design a page protectors for the beginning and the ending page of the month. It just helps it look, um, cohesive, I guess is the word I'm looking for. Um, and eventually I haven't done it yet, but eventually I'll be, I'll buy the Becky Higgins divider, like little divider tab things. And I'll label each month. That way it's very clear. It should be clear with the way I have it set up now, but just in case I do want to add those divider tab things to each month. So I'll have, you know, January through December for that month or for that year rather in an album. So I always do my four by six slots on the tops and the bottoms with a white cardstock base or I print the photo with a white border and I always keep those cards squared, which is why I cut the rounded edges off of this April card. Now this was kind of like the little advertisement title card for the kit, but I'm using it as a project life card. And I just went ahead and um, used the chipboard alpha that came in the kit. Now, they're not sticky at all, even though they have adhesive on them. So I'm just using my Tombow Mono Multi-Glue to glue those down. I For this kit, I'm pulling out my Ellie Studio little box that you saw me rifling through. And that's what all those tags are at the very top of the screen. I knew that I had a cut apart in there that said... And I keep, for some reason, I guess I must have hit my mat because it's slightly skewed. But I um, have a tag that I am going to use to and cut apart. Um, well, it's actually already cut apart. But it says pool time. And so I'm going to use that because I have this photo of us in the pool. And we are very rarely ever at the pool, all three of us together. Kaylin and I will go a lot, or even Ernest will take Kaylin. But there's a very rare occasion for all three of us to be together. So this is a big deal, and I want to make sure it's in my scrapbook. Ernest is really not a fan of the pool, and he very rarely goes. So this was a really big deal that he went with us this time. Usually Kaylin and I go by ourselves. I really like how this title card ended, um, turned out. It was just kind of simple and basic, but it's really cute, I think. Um, so back to the 4x6 cards. So I always do a white base with um, squared corners. And then on my four 3x4 three four cards in the middle, those will be on rounded cornered cards. That way I don't have a squared corner on the back showing through to a rounded corner and then you see the back of it. Really, I've done that before and it really is not that big of a deal, but um, I kind of developed my own little pattern and style with my project life and that's just what I continue with. I don't even really think much about it now. It's just kind of a normal way for me to set this up. I definitely use a lot more 3x4 cards than I do 4x6 cards. Um, so, and if you have ever subscribed to any Project Life kits, you'll notice they definitely give you a lot more 3x4 cards than they do 4x6. And I guess that's because so many people use photos in the 4x6 slots. Just adding a bit of journaling here. Just going to use my Tim Holtz ruler. Now, if you don't have this ruler, this ruler is awesome. I do need to get a T, what are they called? T squared rulers. I think that's what they're called. I need to get one of those, um, but I just haven't yet. But that would be a great one to also have and use. I didn't really measure the lines. I just kind of eyed it and spaced it out. Oh, let me tell you what my favorite part of this kit is so far. I love those little tile alphas that you see to the left of the screen, the black and white tile alphas. They are awesome. And you get two of each sheet so like there's there's two sheets in a set and you get two sets basically 
and there's a lot of alphas on there. I've only used a few off the second set so far. I've used a lot off of the first set, but it's a really nice size. It's not tiny either, which is kind of nice because most um, tile alphas are really, really small. And this is not really tiny, so I really like that. So um, going back to what I was saying about the LE Studio tags, so I went ahead and pulled those out. I am struggling just a little bit with this kit. I feel like the embellishments either are not enough or they're not my style. Um, and I'll, I'm, I'm trying to reserve judgment here and wait until the end of the kit to see if that's truly what my feelings are. But just to be honest with you all and give you my true feelings as I use these kits, which is exactly what I'm trying to do in these, this kit review series that I've done this year. Um, I'm struggling a bit with the embellishments that are in here. And I actually was looking at the Facebook groups just to see if anybody else mentioned it. And, um, somebody had mentioned, um, and actually I think it was mentioned in one of my comments too, to, to my videos that I already have posted for, for using this kit. Somebody had mentioned that they weren't really sure what to do with the kit. And I'm just struggling a bit, you know, like that, that green, um, acetate four by six card, like green is not a color I really scrapbook with. Not that I'm opposed to it. I'm just not usually scrapping with it. And orange is probably my least favorite color in the world. So <laughs> And there's a lot of orange in this kit. I don't, I mean, I'll definitely scrap with it and I'll make it work, but it's not my favorite color. So I'm really kind of struggling with, with this kit overall. Now there are definitely some pieces that I love. Like I love the alphas. Love it. Love them. Love them. I love the stamp sets. Though I haven't used the, the like build your own flower stamp set. I've used the little starburst like I did on the title card to this Project Life page, but I haven't used any of the rest of that stamp set, but I, I love having stamp sets in my stash. So I don't, I'm not a, I'm not worried about that at all. I'm just not so sure about like the paint brushes. I have no clue if I'm ever going to use those. I'm going to keep them of course, cause I don't throw product away ever, like ever. <laughs> I'll do giveaways sometimes with some products for my stash, but you will never see me just throw things away. I will either gift it to somebody or I'll use it one way or another. Um, I don't, I don't know what I'm going to do with that like, green, uh, I guess it's an acetate piece. It's like a four by six card, but as you can see it in the very top right corner of the screen, it's under some of the other Project Life cards. It's got like rolling pins and whisks and other like cooking products or cooking utensils on it. I have no idea if I'm going to use that or how I'm going to use it. I might use it as a layering piece under a photo. But that's just, that's not really my style, and I really struggle with using products like that. So we, we shall see how I, if I'm able to even kill this kit. To me, that kind of shows me if I really like a kit, if I'm able to, to kind of use it all up, or if I end up having a lot of pieces left, or if I just get kind of fed up with it and I just want to move on. Um, I really hope I don't get to that point with this kit, but I'm just to be honest with you all, I'm struggling with the embellishments here. And I'm kind of why I had canceled my Studio Calico kits a couple years ago. They were the first um, company that I subscribed to and I had canceled them because at the time I was a brand new scrapbooker and I really kind of wanted um, a variety of products and Studio Calico gives you a lot of their own designed products which there's not a that's not a problem but at the time I was wanting more of like your the new things that were coming out and you may, you may get one or two things that came out that was new, but most of the stuff that comes in their kits are, are specifically designed for those kits, which again, there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. But at the time I wanted, I wanted a variety of new products because I wasn't buying a ton of new products. So I, I wanted to get some in, you know, I was spending what 40 some odd dollars a month and I, I wanted to have some new stuff in those kits and that's not what I was getting. So um, and then also I would get products that I wouldn't really use. And to me, that's a bit of a waste of money because I can spend 40 to 50 bucks on an order from another company and get more use out of it than what I was getting out of the kit at the time. So in my opinion, you have to really like a kit to subscribe to it. I love kits that you can purchase one month and not have to purchase the next month because then you can check it out when it, when it, um, comes out in a reveal and you can say, Oh, okay, I'll use, you know, 75% of the product that's in there. But if, 
if I'm not going to use it, I hate being tied into something. So I am really a big, big fan of kits that let you just purchase one month or do a month to month subscription or something like that. Um, which if you have noticed in my kit review series, I've only been doing kits that you can just purchase once because I'm not planning to subscribe to a kit at the moment. I want to try a bunch of different ones, not only for myself, I'll, I'm interested to see what companies offer the quality of their products and all of that, but I want to share that with you guys. So anyways, this is the end. I chatted a lot in this video, but thank you for sticking with me. I hope you enjoyed and I will chat with y'all later. Thank you so much. Bye.